Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Golden God here. We got another special medical marijuana unboxing video for everybody today. Today's video is going to be on another Cresco product, specifically a liquid live resin cartridge from a strain that we've never ever tried before on this channel, or I've never tried even off it, 707 Headband, okay? Also, if you're new to this channel, or if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed yet, please do right now and click the like button while I read off the potency analysis on the back here. And then, oops, and then we'll get to it. We got the, the Pocket 2 here, all charged up, ready to go. Here's the cool little like triangle box that it comes in. It's like 100 bucks, but like a 15% discount on their website. You know, you get it for like 80, 85, something like that. Okay, all right. Cresco 707 headband is a 500 milligram cartridge, so really maybe 300, 400 milligrams. You know how these all the medical marijuana companies really lie about how much. Um, individual doses. Oh, 150 doses. 150 three second hits I'll be able to get off this, off this cart. Again, I'm calling BS on that. All right. Um, batch ID, okay, or CBC 0.8. Er, yeah, 886%, CBD 0.232%, CBD 0.113%, CBG 2.063%, CBGA 0.215%, CBN 0.1%, THC 69.481%, THCA 0.104%, THCV 0.5%, it's 0 0.5%. Or I'm sorry, 0 0.496, so very basically 0 0.5. Uh, so total cannabinoids, it doesn't say it right here, but if you add it all up, the 69.5 plus the 2 CBG and then, uh, the THCV 0 0.5, uh, between 72 and 75 percent. Terpene analysis: A ter terpene, terpene 0.007 percent. B carefline. 1.154% B myrcene, 6.158%. It's always high B myrcene. B pinene, 0.14%. I'm not complaining at all. It helps with my back pain. B cibolo, 0.656%. Campine, 0.03%. Carine, 0.005%. Uh, I'm going to tell you something right after this. Carifeline oxide, 0.065%. Humulene, 0.411%. Not limonene, 1.173%. Linolol, 1.212%. A lot of terpenes. Osamine, 0.212%. Pinene, 0.141%. Terpeline, 0.132%. Total terpenes, 12.056%. And why terpene 0.009 percent? I'll cut this open here. There's the seal at the bottom. Uh, I just did before my first video and the first time I've ever tried uh, Ty Mike Tyson's. Uh, he's got his 2.0 strains strands out now. It's called Mike Tyson 2.0. It says undisputed on it, and I picked up almost every strain there at the dispensary uh, except one strain I didn't pick up because for some reason it was the highest THC 32% but people were giving it only three stars out of five so I didn't pick it up I forget which strain it was but I picked up four strains uh, the first one that we just did literally a video for before this was uh, intergalactic toad so if you're watching this video then that video has got to be up by now so go watch that Mike Tyson 2.0 and we have three other eighths. We, like I said, we bought a, <clears throat> a half an ounce worth. Uh, you know, four eighths equals half an ounce, obviously. Here, here we go. Again, giant head space. It shouldn't surprise me by now. Like Cresco underfills their carts. Look at that. It's down to the C in C R E S C. Like it's way past the O. Come on, Cresco. Like, yeah, you guys make great quality, but I think Prime is starting. They're lowering their prices on their live resin carts. They lowered them from 60 down to 50. So they kind of got you there now, almost on price. And I don't know, this whole headspace with your 
I don't have that problem with Prime Wellness cards. All right, we got the metal part, magnetic card on that. Let's pop that in. Turn that on. You got the haptic feedback. You can hear it. All right. Now we'll start on crescocannabis.com slash strange slash 707 dash head, headband. And leave in the comments, too, if you've ever had this in any form whatsoever, even if it wasn't from Cresco. I don't know. For all I know, Cresco made this strain themselves, but probably not. I forgot to say cheers. And all this information will be typed in the description below, as usual. This strain is a cross between Sour Diesel, OG Kush, and Master Kush. Never heard of Master Kush, but I gotta get my hands on that. And is known to have higher THC levels. It can be strong, however, it's balanced enough to leave most consumers feeling calm and creative rather than sleepy. This is right from Cresco Cannabis this is, uh, Library. You can find like all their strains there. Uh, flavors, you're gonna get herbal, citrus peppery lineage like it just said sour diesel which i've uh tried before and have videos on here of sour diesel in some shape or form og kush uh some sort some forms of og kush on here um plenty of different kushes on here i never but not master kush reported effects you're gonna feel relaxed i mean this is an indica you're gonna feel relaxed you're gonna feel calm creative and prevalent terpenes top terpenes uh, Carifeline, Limonene, and Myrcene, and definitely on here, on here, B Myrcene, which was almost 6% alone, which is, I mean, total terpenes, 12%, half the terpenes are all B Myrcene. And like we said, that's an indica. On to the next website, iHeartGene.com. This strain must have been around for a while because it's got 819 reviews, giving it a, a 4.5 out of a possible 5 stars. Uh, here, given the same picture here, uh, literally, I mean, what we're what we have here. So I'll leave this in the description below. Details here, it just gives you an average of what uh, what some of the THC the THC level says. Seventy five percent. What did I say before? Seventy two to seventy five. CBD zero point twenty six percent. CBDA zero point forty eight percent. The description it tells you the strains uh, lineage, like we already went over. Uh, terpenes, mercine, limonene, and carefully. Flavors, herbal, citrus, peppers, same thing. Source from a single cannabis strain. Nothing added, nothing taken away. N nothing, never separated, never reconstituted. We capture the original full spectrum effects of fresh flower in the convenience of a cartridge. You should know this by now with live resin. Like they used to plant alive, not dead. Rest products are derived from indica strains which are associated with calm and relaxation. Even from just those few hits, I already feel a lot more calm and relax. I'm not feeling the back pain like usual. Our uh, rest offerings pair well with the quality time, evening, wind downs, and restorative self care. I don't have it right on me right now, but I know for a fact that the Cresco Liquid Live Resin cards were 55 before the discount. Okay, so I'll leave the uh, reviews to you to read, and we have three more sites here. WikiLeaf, uh, only four reviews, but giving it a total, uh, perfect score, five out of five. Uh, Indica Dominant Hybrid Strand, about 707 hybrid. 707 Headman gets its name from two very distinctive identifiers. The first one, the number 707. Refers to an area code. See, this is why I love the like, trivia things I get to tell you that I find out on here. From the San Francisco Bay Area of California, which is where the strain first gained notice. The second one, the word headband, is a direct reference to the effects this strain can have. Many users feel that they are quite literally wearing a headband. It is, it is weird. Maybe it's just in my head. <laughs> literally. The exact nature of the strain's origins have been lost. No one knows exactly where it came from or who first bred it. Though some claim it from the breeder's lab, still that did not keep DNA genetics breeders from taking a crack at figuring out 707 headbands lineage. After a few rounds of tasting the full flavor of the strain and its effects, DNA genetics came to the conclusion that the strain was probably a cross between OG Kush and Sour Diesel. 
most places is uh, specifically listed as a cross between a female OG Kush and sour diesel hybrid that was crossed with a male sour diesel. Interesting. However, though, claiming it came from the Breeders' Lab list as a cross between New York uh, City Diesel, OG Kush, and Master Kush, often stated as needing anywhere between 9 and 11 weeks to flower if you're growing legally, uh, this strain can have a THC count of up to 24%. And they're referring to the flower, obviously. This is almost 72-75 total. DNA Genetics have since released the strain based on the genetics that they claim 707 headband. It hits, it hits amazing. Many patients say that it has the exact same taste and effects as 707 headband has. DNA Genetics have dropped the 707 and calls their simply headband. Okay. And I'll do, leave the URL in the description. This is WikiLeaf. I always love going to them. Uh, we have this quick, uh, this is information. 707 headband is a hybrid that has a relaxed but uplifting effects that builds up and does not hit instantly. A pungent smelling strain, 707 headband makes a great choice for pain relief and reduce anxiety. And this is showing the, the, um, this, the exact live resin cartridge here. The 707 comes from the area code of Humboldt County, California, where the strain originated. Okay. And finally, allbud.com uh, is giving it a 4.5 stars out of 32 votes in 19 reviews. We'll finish off here. Indica, indica dominant hybrid, 60% indica, 40% sativa, the, the uh, flower medical marijuana strain. 707 headband is one potent strain. With THC levels that top out at 24%, it's one of the strongest choices on the market. The strain is also mostly indica, like we said. So the high is primarily focused on the body. 707 headband has Kush and diesel or origins. It's a crossbreed, like we said a million times already, Sour Diesel, OG Kush, and Master Kush. The body high is deep, deeply relaxing, but it's balanced out by clear-headed cerebral effects that keep users awake and spur creative thinking. I already, this is my second video. I still have one more video to do after this. I'm not going to say what it's for. Okay, uh, true to its ancestry, this strain has a strong, pungent skunk smell with hints of pine. The high is very happy and relaxed and strong euphoria that makes 707 headband ideal for treating anxiety, post-traumatic disorder, Bipolar disorders, spinal cord injuries, and chronic pain. I am in no way doc a doctor. I'm just simply reading what allbud.com slash I'll leave the URL in the description below for you. Um, negative effects include limited dry mouth. Speaking of, I put chapstick on. Usually that's been helping with it a lot, but I don't have my headband with me. Where's my headband? It's not on my head, even though I feel like there's one on my head. Okay, I have my headband. Okay. No more cotton mouth if there was. I'm sorry if there was. This strain... Okay, uh... Um... Negative effects include limited dry mouth, while dry eyes and dizziness are also possible. This strain is found mostly on the West Coast and in Colorado, though it's also popular in Canada and can be found in other locations in, in the United States. And one of my subscribers told me, wait, I don't know if it was 707, or it might, I think it was a different strain we were talking about that I was doing a video on and they said that they uh, got their hands on. Uh, I was doing, a, I think, a cart, and they said they, I wanted to, yeah, OG18 by Cresco. I said I, I wanted to get my hands on the flower. And one of my subscribers, uh, cool dude, he um, he said that he got he he had uh, either had tried it and got his hands on it or had some at the moment. But anyway, we're gonna finish this video off here. This strain is mostly on the West Coast area. We said also known simply as headbands. Its name comes from the 707 area code, which serves the San Francisco Bay area, and the headband effect users feel in their foreheads. That's really weird. All right, we're gonna take one more good hit here. rocking the blue fender shirt today i figure it goes well with the i like the products to match the match the shirt pop that out 
definitely given this a, I would have given it a 9.5 out of 10, but I'm going to give it a 9 because of, uh, um, headspace and, uh, with headspace and the price. Like, if you're going to charge $55, I expect, like, there's no way you're getting 150 hits out of this, okay? And if you do, like, <laughs> so, you know, you think about, like, oh, I'm going to count them. And I tried that, and then I've forgotten times. But what I did with the one of the first Prime Wellness Vape Pods that I did a video on just the other day, I did a video I opened out of the four different ones. Uh, my first one I did is on Urban Legend by Prime Wellness, number 48. And I weighed it beforehand on my digital scale. It's 500 milliliters or 500 milligrams, whatever. My scale weighs milligrams. The whole weight thing together, the pod, was like 6.5 something, 0, 01 uh, grams and milligrams or whatever. So 500 minus that, it should still be like 6.1 at the end or 6.0 something at the end. But we'll see. We'll see. But that's a completely different company. But I hope everybody enjoyed today's uh, review and unboxing on Cresco's Liquid Live Resin Strain 707 Headband. I think I saw it before in the stores, and I just, I, it's just one of those things that just always, uh, just, I always bypass by. And, um,. I was like, you know what, I, I gotta get this and try this for my video. It seems like it'd be a really nice, strong indica. And I'm always looking for new Cresco, not new Cresco products, because I know this has been around for a while. But if you like this uh, unboxing video, please do the, at the least subscribe and click the like button. This cost me 55 bucks to buy, so it's technically making me 50, te technically costing me 55 bucks just to make the video. Alright, but I hope everybody enjoyed today's unboxing, and I'll see everybody in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and click that like button. Peace. Yeah, watch the, watch the playlist. I got like over 150 unboxing videos now, all medical marijuana items. And this is all legal. Like, I have a medical marijuana car card for Pennsylvania, and all the items I've purchased, I've always had my medical marijuana card, and it's always been good like it's not you know expired or anything like that it's still good all right i'll see everybody in the next video next unboxing or the next uh, video game uh gameplay on the ps5 all right peace ha uh happy uh dad day too like i said i sometimes i film a few videos in this in the same day all right i'll see everybody in the next video peace